If you've been running AdWords accounts for any period of time and are using negative keyword lists, you know that sometimes it's difficult to know if your negative keyword list conflicts with your actual keywords that you're running in the account. You may accidentally have added something that conflicts and then you're restricting traffic or throttling traffic that you actually wanted. Now, uh, if you're just adding negatives to the account or ad group level, uh, typically AdWords will notify you that there's a conflict, but we actually don't really do that very often at Paracore. We use negative, uh, we use negative lists because we find that they're easier to manage, control, apply to multiple accounts, and just kind of creates a centralized location for doing negatives. So one way to get around that, instead of just hoping that, <laughs> that things are gonna work out okay, is to use an AdWords script. And the AdWords script that we use is called, so I'm gonna move my recording here for a minute, Negative Keyword Conflicts. This is the single accounts version. I'm gonna to link to this in, um, in the, the description of the video, but AdWords actually has a number of scripts that you can use that are super helpful. But I'm actually gonna click on the manager account version because that's what we use. And if you're an agency, you probably have multiple accounts running. Now, the way a, uh, an AdWords script works is that you basically can um, snag these scripts, especially if they're already done. There's source code here. There, um, this looks like, you know, this is, this is development, uh, development code. And you have labels and emails and things like that. And I'll show you that in just a second. And then you basically uh, copy this entire thing here. Uh, you copy the entire section in gray, and then you paste it into your AdWords account so that you can run the script. So for example, we only run a couple different scripts here at Paracore, and these are the main ones. Now there might be different scripts running at, um, there might be different scripts running on uh, an individual account, checking for different things, but these are some of the global ones that we run. Now one of the, so here's the, uh, the negative keyword uh, conflicts, the master um, version. So if you want to add this script, you would basically copy the entire thing. I'm not gonna do it right this second. And then you would hit new, and uh, sometimes this, takes a second, so we're just going to uh, have a sip of our coffee here and wait for the script screen to load. Uh, however, what, what you will need to do is authenticate uh, your account with um, the, the, the AdWords main account, so script changes on a user's behalf, you must authorize. So you might need to do some sort of authorization, but essentially what you end up doing is you take all of this gray, and you copy it, and then you just paste it right here, and you do close, and it's pretty easy. Now, before you do close, you're actually gonna to want to put in some information, um, some various settings. So I'm gonna show you ours, or excuse me, you do, um, yeah, you do close, because you've already saved it. So for ours, we have a number of different uh, things that we do. So when, when, when the negative script want, runs, it actually creates a spreadsheet and it says, hey, we found some conflicts, sends you an email notifying you of the conflicts, and then it lists them all out in the spreadsheet. And if you have like, you know, 50 or 100 AdWords accounts, it lists the account, the campaign, the ad group, the keyword, and then the negative, and how they've conflicted so that you can fix it really quickly and easily. And that's all done in a Google Sheet. So you need to identify one Google Sheet that's gonna, that's gonna be um, the holder of these errors in this information, which is pretty easy to do. You just create one and paste the link in. And then when that Google Sheet is added to your account, then, it's, uh, then you're gonna get, then AdWords is gonna update it and it's gonna send you an email. So here's ours. You can see um, there's a Google Sheet right there, and this, uh, so you paste your Google spreadsheet right here, then you do the recipient email. We have this SEMAM at paracore.com email that is a, a distribution list, so basically every account manager at Paracore gets that email, and then the account label that we use is just negative checker. So if we bring on an account, or we start an account, or whatever the case may be, we add that account label the next time that this script runs, and it runs every single day, Every account that has that label associated with it is then going to uh, check the keywords versus the negative list, which is what we use basically exclusively, like I was telling you, and then send an email to, in this case, all of our account managers, letting them know, hey, uh, there have been um, issues with this account or not this account. And it's awesome because it updates you on a regular basis and you just know if you added something, literally within a day, if you added something that you shouldn't have added, you're going to be notified about it. Uh, we have also used this when we're auditing accounts. So if the client approves it and they're open to us um, doing certain audit techniques, then we will actually just apply that label to an account. You can hit the run button right here, run it, and then it'll also notify us if there are any conflicts. So this script is pretty amazing. It, it, um, it really protects you as an, uh, as an AdWords agency or as an account manager from making any major mistakes, and it'll notify you right away 
uh, if you have any issues. So uh, definitely check it out. As usual, if you have enjoyed the video or found it valuable, uh, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, please leave those below. And uh, thanks for watching.